Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to go underneath a prickly pear cactus to have a face-to-face -face encounter with the only venomous lizard in the United States. I absolutely love my job. All right, this is gonna get interesting. This morning we're in Tucson, Arizona, headed out into the heartland of Gila Monster territory, the Sonoran Desert. We have been notified by a local rancher that one of these rare lizards has taken up residence on a hillside of his property. This time of day, Gila Monsters will emerge from their burrows to bask in the morning sun. What I want to do is stay hunkered down and watch from a distance with binoculars. If this elusive reptile does indeed reveal itself, I will have an excellent opportunity to encounter this notorious desert dweller. To do that, I will quickly position myself between the lizard and its burrow and carefully capture with my bare hands. This will be the best way for me to ensure the safety of the animal while I show you some of its most unique qualities. I see him. He's out. And he's underneath the prickly pear cactus, which is going to make it a little more challenging. All right, he's, all right, he's moving a little bit. Okay, this is going to be our opportunity. A chance to go up this with Mark Fallen. Right there. You see him? Okay, I'm right there. Look, you can see it perfect. Yeah. You see his tongue clicking out? Right there. Look at his head right in the sunlight. Well, what I want to do is carefully work my way behind the lizard, try to create a barrier between it and its den. All right, let's turn it back towards its den. Okay, I'm just going to go. All right, there we go. There he is. All right, I got the den behind me at this point. Now what I'm going to do is safely and gently grab a hold of him right behind his head so that I don't risk getting bit. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, got him. Yes! Look at him! Wow! Totally worth the stakeout. And that is the Gila Monster, the only venomous lizard in the United States. These reptiles typically are not very aggressive. It is not very often that people are bitten by Gila Monsters. And they say that only a fool who mishandles a Gila Monster ever receives a bite. Now what's really interesting about the tongue of the Gila Monster is it's forked, just like a snake. They run that over what's called the Jacobson's organ on the top of the skull and the roof of the mouth. And that's like this Gila Monster's little personal computer that's bringing in all sorts of chemicals from potential prey, predators, and its environment. Now the venom glands on this lizard are in the lower jaw. Your scales on the outside and below that are four venom glands. When they actually find something that they're going to capture, bite, and envenomate, those teeth that they have are not like fangs. They're these long, kind of sharp, monster-looking teeth. And when they grab onto something, they gnaw and gnaw. And that gnawing works the venom into their saliva and then into their victim. Now, the scientific name of the Gila monster, Heloderma, means nail-studded skin. This lizard is absolutely built for this desert terrain. All these little bumps running down his back are actually little osteoderms, and osteoderms are little tiny pieces of bone covered in scale. Now, this guy pretty much has a bulletproof vest on his back. The Gila monsters are incredibly intelligent reptiles. They will often follow the trail of a mammal and go right back to its burrow. Now, if that mammal has babies in the burrow, he's got lunch. If it doesn't have any babies, they will actually remember where that burrow is at and return several times until there's something in there to eat. And then, of course, they have their meal. If you're unfortunate enough to be bitten by a Gila monster, it's going to be one of the most painful experiences you've ever gone through. And the only way to get this reptile off of you is to actually submerge it into a bucket of water. Once it lets go, remember this is venomous and you're going to want to get yourself to the hospital as soon as possible. The venom's not as potent as a rattlesnake, but I'll tell you what, they say it's about as painful as lava coursing through your veins. Wow, what an incredible encounter with the only venomous lizard that lives in the United States. One of my favorites. But I want to know what your favorite lizards are. Leave me your list in the comments section below. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, I'm going to put this guy up in the shade so he can cool off back in his burrow. And we're going to go get some ice cream. It's scorching out here. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.
This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle. 